Hi, everyone. This is Cindy Soto, your certified health educator from the Hippocrates Health Institute and the author of the guide, How to Get the Most Out of the Program. I'm joined here by my husband, Pedro, who is one of the health educator instructors for the Institute. Today, we're interviewing Anthony Chatham, who has personally helped thousands of guests as a psychologist with the Institute for the past 15 years. But before we go to Anthony, I want you to be aware of a great opportunity for you or a loved one to do the three-week life change program with us as part of a group. In addition to saving hundreds of dollars, you get some other great benefits. For more details, visit www.hippocratesgroupsavings.com. We have groups scheduled the rest of this year. For the exact dates, visit www.hippocratesgroupsavings, all one word, dot com. Now let's get to the questions with Anthony. We're very happy to have Dr. Anthony Chatham with us today. He is a licensed psychotherapist who's been at Hippocrates since 1994. And he employs some very effective techniques from Eastern and Western traditions of holistic healing and integrating the knowledge and experience also of the fields of psychology, philosophy, and theology, where he also holds advanced graduate degrees. He brings all this together, and his work is focused on state-of-the-art stress management using hypnotherapy, progressive relaxation, EMDR, which is eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, guided imagery, regression, and spiritual consultations. And I'm sure he can tell us a little bit more about that. So are you there, Anthony? Yes. Okay. Good afternoon. <laughs> nice to hear Thank you me. all. Uh, yes, as you said, I have been working with Hippocrates since 1994, and it was such a pleasure to see the number of guests who come there and go back happy and to a great extent on the true healing path. And since we Uh, believe... Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Since we believe that mind and body work together, actually mind, body, and spirit work together... It was a pleasure to be part of especially the mind and spirit aspects of the health and healing at the Institute. Accordingly, I have been giving different classes related to this mind-body-spirit connection. Because as you know, holistic approach to health and healing involves all these elements. And that is where it is different from the conventional medicine, where you are focusing on one aspect. In my individual work with the guests at Hippocrates, one of the things that I do is to do stress assessment. As you know, when guests come into the program, they are not only faced with the physical challenges, which very often is the reason for somebody to make a decision to go to Hippocrates, but they also have a lot of emotional issues which we generally call the stress. So what we do is we help people to assess several areas they might be experiencing stress. The first being the diagnosis itself. A lot of times when we hear somebody has a diagnosis of cancer, we only think of a cyst or a condition uh, that is very difficult to heal from. But we do not often think about how much stress that is causing because that is putting a major blockage to one's ability to look into the future. So what we try to look at is, to look at the stress coming from the diagnosis itself. Another area, as you know, that is also affected by such a diagnosis often is the relationship. Sometimes the tension in relationship has also been the cause of the illness itself. But anyway, that area brings in a lot of stress for a lot of people. 
the connection with the significant others, family members, close friends, business colleagues, all these are important. And a third area of stress obviously is one's occupation or whatever job or business. And uh, often we go into details how and why they are experiencing stress in those areas. And one of the major ones is the stress often coming from the past because many people are not aware that many of the past traumatic events are truly causing stress today. And so we try to also assess that part. Now, following this stress assessment session, which is usually a half-hour session, we do one more follow-up as part of the program by helping them to develop a tool for stress management. And uh, so in the individual sessions, the major work I do is related to stress management. Then, of course, we also give classes particularly drawing the attention of the people or the guests to those areas which they may want to work on. Because working on the body alone, as you know, it does not really solve the problem nor improve the health. So we try to help them release some of the tension coming from the stressors that people experience. So that is, yeah, thank you. I'm sorry, were, were you complete on that part? Um, uh, no, uh, just, well, these are the things that I do there. Uh-huh, yeah. Go and ahead. then you can go on because we may come back to this area in different questions. Okay, very good. Excellent. So I just wanted to, because I was taking notes myself, um, yeah. I see that there are three specific Things, or, or three general things that you do. First is the stress assessment, and you broke down four areas that you look at. Then, and that usually takes place in the half-hour initial consultation, right? Yes. Okay. Then uh, there's the stress management um, also, which that's more of, of a one-on-one -on -one where you come up with individualized tools. Is that correct? That is correct. And then you mentioned classes. Is that more like a group type uh, things, lectures or group uh, processes that you do? Okay. It is actually a combination. That means um, it is usually a two-hour session in which the first 50 minutes will be spent on discussing a particular topic, like, for example, the connection between stress and health, or some of the quantum concepts that can help us improve our health or the whole holistic approach and so on. Then another 30 or 40 minutes will be spent on an experiential session where as a group people will use relaxation and guided imageries particularly to release stress or to experience one level of interior health or mental health in um, using any of the particular images. Then at the end, the participants also share some of their own experiences and that thus expand the experience of the group itself. So that is what is being done in individual classes. 